Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yes, we have a meth problem here in South Dakota. And the governor's recent new prevention awareness campaign has made South Dakota the laughing stock of the country. The governor, Christy Noem, is spearheading the campaign that says meth, we're on it. Some wonder if it's actually promoting meth and not the usage of it. Yeah, the state spent $500,000 on an ad campaign to let everyone know we're on meth. Yeah, it is a big problem here in South Dakota and evidently now 12 year olds and 17 year olds are through those ages are on the increase in using meth. So who's making all the money? Um, yeah, is it really that easy to make where so many people are now using it? Because of all the backlash this campaign has gotten, Governor Christy Noem uh, put out a Twitter post that says, Hey Twitter, the whole point of this ad campaign is ad awareness. So I think it's working. Yeah, they're showing uh, farmers, they're showing football players, Native Americans, people that go to church, families, high school football teams. Yeah, you know, South Dakota has the lowest population of all the states in the country. And for it to become such a problem here, um, yeah, I have to wonder how bad of a problem is it in other states, but uh, why is it allowed? You know, the things that they used uh, to make it imported, um, probably illegally across the border into the United States. Why isn't something done about that? Last year, I did a report about how I had called the FBI, how the cartel was evidently now here in my very small town, uh, 23,000, which is actually probably the third largest city in South Dakota. And the, I believe it was Sioux Falls, um, or maybe Aberdeen um, office of the FBI just laughed at me. They said, yeah, the cartels are in every city across the country. They didn't care. You know, they're saying they're on it to fight against the uh, use of meth, but it actually kind of suggests that all these people are actually using it. You know, mental health here in this country is a big problem. Uh, mental health should be provided free for people. This here is our governor, Christy Noem. Um, she's evidently really cracking down even on the uh, transportation of legal marijuana across the state. She's against the um, approval of growing um, hemp for the farmers. Evidently two of the tribes here in South Dakota have applied to uh, grow hemp for um, some income there on the reservations. Now they're not under state law, they're under federal law and they recently applied you know, for a permit to grow hemp, you know, for ropes and other um, products. Um, not for the uh, THC, but for the products that are made from the fiber of marijuana hemp. She says that the uh, court systems and the jails are overcrowded because of the use of meth. Um, I don't know. What about marijuana? Any uh, cars with uh, Colorado license plates that pass through the state yeah they're all stopped and searched for marijuana um yeah i don't know what to say maybe if marijuana was made legal it would put the um, illegal marijuana sellers out of business but then like i said we still got it coming in from mexico to make the meth and who is allowing that to happen whose pockets is that lining so what are your thoughts about this campaign? Put your thoughts and comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.